How we write differs around the globe, along with the words and phrases that we use. Words and phrases have different personal meanings for all of us and may take on other forms in other languages. For example, in the English language, we use the term children to refer to younger people. We also use the terms kids, preteens, and probably other nicknames that we use informally. Let's look at how children are referred to in Cantonese, which is a Chinese dialect. In Cantonese, Siu Peng Yao directly translates to small friends and is used by adults to refer to children. Siu Peng Yao specifically is an informal or casual term that can be used by adults that may be related to the children or not. The Chinese language uses a lolographic writing system which uses symbols to represent words. For those that read and write in a Germanic language, such as English, we can find the romanization of these characters. For Cantonese, this is called yutpeng. The numbers refer to the tone that is placed on the syllable. In this example, we would pronounce su with a high rising tone, pang with a falling tone, and yao with a mid rising tone. Now imagine a bunch of equally sized squares on a piece of paper. A single Chinese character is drawn in exactly one square. The strokes of a character are also drawn in a specific order. This is how you would write Siu Peng Yao in a top to bottom and left to right fashion. So that's a look at a commonly used Cantonese phrase and how one would write it. What other languages and translations can we learn from? Thank you.